Hey everybody, Logan here, and we're doing something we haven't done in a long time. But I bet you're thinking, it's an unboxing. No, 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 not just an unboxing. A game. A special edition of a game. Yes, this is the Record of Agrist War, limited edition for the Nintendo Switch. It's the 15th, 15th anniversary edition. Now, I originally had this special edition on the Xbox 360 way back in the day. Apparently 15 years ago. Apparently 15 years ago. Wow. I, I, I think about that, I'm like, wait. All right, so if we do the math, 2005 to 2010 is five, right? And then 20, and then 23, 2008. Oh my god, I feel really old. Really, 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 really. Okay, I'm done there. How about I just shut up? We hit that intro <laughs> and we open this up. Alrighty, so here we go. As you can see, Record of Agrist War Limited Edition. Now, I had this back in the day on the 360, like I stated before. And I had the, the special edition. Is that something? Oh, that's underneath the plastic. Um, I had the special edition for the 360. Sadly, I don't have it anymore because over the years you lose stuff, you trade stuff, you sell stuff. The only thing I do have is the mouse pad that came with it. So that's kind of funny. But uh, as soon as I saw this, I didn't even know it was coming out. This wasn't going to be my big purchase of the month, but we got WWE 2K23 coming out, and I'm still buying that. Special edition of that, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Record of Agrisport. So this was a tactics-based strategy RPG uh, that came out around those times. The, like I said, it was 2008, and it's been a long time. And I really, really enjoyed this game. So now that I found out that we're getting a re-release, I decided to pick it up. And as you can see, here it comes with... Limited edition includes oversized 80 page full color art book set of 12 large bromide cards, 5x7, three layer 3.5x5 inch acrylic diorama, original soundtrack CD. That is so cool. All right, so let us slowly pop this open. Always be very careful with my Legend of Zelda knife. Yes, this has become my new box opening knife. Oh, this one was a little damaged. Oh well. I had the option of this one and another one. Ooh. Okay, so that's just the, the paper insert. That is the diorama right there. Interesting, just like the one that was with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cowabunga Collection I put together. Here's the CD soundtrack. Oh, nothing on the back. We are going to open up all these. Normally I wouldn't, but I love this game so much that I'm definitely going to open up everything here. Oh, hello. So these are the cards. We're going to slide this open. Yep, yep, there. Okay, it was actually sealed incorrectly, that's fine. And then this is the art book. Let's take a quick glance at the art book. Ooh, it's really stiff. You know what? He reminds me... Oh, there's a character he reminds me of, and I am... Oof. Um, blanking off the top of my head at the moment. I'll remember. So we got all the different characters. That's pretty cool. It's funny, it's been so long since I've played this game. I honestly don't even remember the story. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even remember the story. There are a couple of RPGs because the, the Xbox 360 PS3 era had so many RPGs and I played so many of them. Like, I don't even remember the story of um, Enchanted Arms. I remember playing it, I remember beating it, but I don't remember the story. So let's take a look at these next. 
of these uh, cards. See, as you can see, it was sealed incorrectly. So now it's actually going to slightly damage the back card, which sucks, but oh well. It's not like I ever resell these things anyway. So, there you go. I I've never seen these, so they could be NSFW, but that's fine. Oh, hello. I guess they are. Okay, that was very nice. So, put those back in the... Oh, whoops, no, it goes this way. I can see where the, the adhesive is. So I'll just put those back just the way they were. Like that, we'll put that there. There's the game. There's the diorama. So we'll pop open the game. game that's what you get inside the game soundtrack it's not like do I even have a CD player connected yes the consoles will still play CDs do consoles still play CDs to be honest I don't know I've never tried but I still have a CD player somewhere in this house I have my PS3 still connected I know that plays CDs isn't that kind of sad that I don't even know if I have something that plays CDs yet? I have a whole wall of them out in my living room. I think the original came with a CD uh, soundtrack. I think I might still have that. But there you go. There's the list. And then, what I did the last time I had one of these, I just decided to say, hey, I'm going to put this together cut away and then you're gonna come uh it's gonna come right back and you're gonna uh see it put back together completely and that's what's gonna happen here okay so there's the, the simple three-piece uh diorama i think it's locked in there pretty pretty well make sure they're in there now all i did was pretty much just take everything out of its little plastic it didn't have any plastic coating um like a seal or protector so that was all right but there you go if i remember correctly that was uh the box art from the original if i remember correctly but it's been a while so as you can see it's just three plates that plug in and then there you go nothing too fancy but there we go that is the collector's edition here i'll put these the art book goes in there that will go there that will go there, and then these will go there. So there we go. What do you guys think? Were you ever a fan of Record of Agris War? Are you even old enough to remember playing it? Did you even play it back in the day? Because 15 years, that could change someone's game, gaming style. Because if someone's 30 now, they were 15 when this came out. They may not have even been interested in these type of games, so that's a big thing to think about. So tell me what you guys think. Did you guys uh, play this? Uh, do you have any remembrances, memories, that's the word, of Record of Agris War at all? But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, remember, oh, oh, before I get on to the end of it, we are starting a brand new podcast with myself and a couple of other uh, small YouTube channels. We're all kind of small. We're all working to get bigger, and you're going to have to subscribe to each of them, too. starts with uh, Nick Duell, um, Miami Geeks, and someone who's big on Instagram, Ninja Toidles, for our very first episode of uh, Red. Well, it, tell me if you know the, the, the reference, but it's Ready to Start Podcast. Thank you guys so much. Remember to subscribe. Uh, check out this podcast. The first episode will be up tomorrow. Well, depending on when you're watching it. But thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, again, hit that subscribe button. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.